Psychological explanations for schizophrenia. So this video is going to look at family dysfunction. Equally, you need to be aware of the cognitive explanation, which is a psychological explanation of schizophrenia. So that's the umbrella term and both family dysfunction and cognitive explanation fits under that broad terminology of psychological explanation. So family dysfunction is the idea that schizophrenia is caused by abnormal family communication patterns. And we're going to look at two main theories or explanations. That is the double bind theory and expressed emotion. So the double bind theory states that parents make their children vulnerable to, to develop schizophrenia if they communicate to them in contradictory verbal and non-verbal messages. Now this is because this contradictory message means that they develop an incoherent representation of reality. So for example, a mother tells her son that she loves him, but turns away when he approaches her for affection. So that contradiction cancels each other's out and stops an internally coherent creation of reality from developing. Another psychological or family dysfunction is expressed emotion and it's a communication style whereby family members either talk about a schizophrenic critically so they would be described as high expressed emotion so high ee or they refer to the uh, schizophrenic in a non-critical way so low ee research has suggested that high ee families are more likely to result in a patient relapsing so when they return to a high EE, they were four times more likely to relapse than if they were to return to a low EE family. Members of a high EE family will be emotionally overly involved or concerned with the person and their behaviour. This means schizophrenics may be less able to cope with the negative emotional environment, which leads to stress beyond a manageable level and results in them relapsing or developing schizophrenia. So in terms of an outline question in regards to describing family dysfunction, we have one that's an outline and application question. So this is assessing your AO1 and AO2. So Jack has been diagnosed with schizophrenia. He describes his family background to his therapist. I can never talk to mum. She fuss, fussed over me all the time. I tried to do what she said, but could never please her. One minute she seemed all affectionate, and the next minute she would make nasty comments. My dad hated all arguments and stayed out of it. Describe the family dysfunction explanation for schizophrenia. So that's your simply, you're describing it, you're outlining family dysfunction. So you're going to describe um, double bind and ex, um, express emotion and explain how Jack's experiences can be linked. So you're gonna apply it to that scenario. So for an um, outline and application, so an AO1 and AO2 question, I would personally do my outline. So for example, I would outline what double bind theory is. So the idea that family dysfunction is caused by abnormal family communication styles and that results in the development of schizophrenia. Double bind is when a child will receive contradictory verbal and non-verbal communication messages, which then means that they develop an incoherent representation of reality. So I'd outline it. I would then go, this can be seen in the scenario above um, where Jack says that his mother's behavior changes from being um, affectionate so one minute she seemed all affectionate and the next minute she would make nasty comments. This means that Jack wouldn't know where, what she wanted from him and would become confused, which means he would lose touch with reality. I would then move on to my second explanation, which would be high expressed emotion, which is where families show exaggerated involvement, overly involved, controlling criticism, um, towards the schizophrenic. So high EE are overly critical, which results in increased likelihood of relapse rates up to four times more likely if a patient returns to a high EE as opposed to a, a low EE family. And then I would 
mention ago. This could be seen in the scenario where the family is described as having a high expressed emotion. So they appear to be overly fussy, overly involved. So she fussed over me all the time. And equally, they appear to be overly critical. So she made nasty comments. In terms of a simple, straightforward outline or explain or um, description, explain how family dysfunction might be involved in schizophrenia. Refer to one or more types of family dysfunction in your answer. So the two types are double bind and expressed emotion. So it's up to you which route you would go down. You could do both of them in less detail or one of them in more detail. So up to you. So if you're going to do less, uh, do one, you'd have to obviously do point, evidence, evidence, um, example. So remember to include four points. If you're going to do both of them, point, evidence or point, example, point, expand for both of them. So make sure you are trying to elaborate on your points to make sure you are demonstrating to the examiner you understand what family dysfunction is. So if we were to look at some AO3 then, so we have supporting evidence that um, double bind theory does appear to explain the development of schizophrenia. So for example, it was found that schizophrenic patients record more double bind statements by their mothers than non-schizophrenics. So that suggests that there is a link between schizophrenia and contradictory communication patterns within the family, which strengthens the assumptions that of the theory as there is empirical research to support it. However, if we were to think about the testability, so the last T, that weakness at the bottom, research um, tends to be retrospective. So you're relying on schizophrenic patients recalling um, for these statements from childhood so therefore they might lack validity equally it's self-report so there might be social desirability bias so there's problems surrounding the methodological impact of that research so if you wanted to include a counter argument to expand on your evaluation points that would be quite a nice one to include we have contradictory evidence so it was found that there was no difference in communication patterns in families of schizophrenics and non-schizophrenics um, this implies that double bind theory is not useful or a credible way of explaining the cause of schizophrenia, which weakens the claim of family dysfunction as um, a reason for the development of schizophrenia. Equally, other research has found that 25% of schizophrenics showed no um, physiological response to stressful comments. It has been suggested that whether EE behaviour is stressful or not depends on how the schizophrenic um, perceives it. So rather um, than high EE or low EE within the family, it is down to the schizophrenic themselves, whether they responded to it or how they perceived it as stressful, which reduces the credibility of that theory. A further weakness is that it's environmentally reductionist. It's solely fo focusing on the family and environmental factors such as communication styles. It's completely ignoring any biological factors and the, the nature side of the nature nurture debate. So it's ignoring any genetic or neurotransmitters such as dopamine, which has been found to have some links with schizophrenia. So it might not offer that sole or complete explanation of schizophrenia. However, there are usefulness um, to this research and there are practical applications. So it's led to family, fam family therapy being developed, which has been found to be an effective way of treating schizophrenia. So it suggests that we, it supports the idea that it's important to do psychological research into family dysfunction and it has shown that we can use it to help society and help schizophrenics in the treatment of schizophrenia. So looking at a 16 marker, then you might get outline and evaluate psychological explanations of schizophrenia. So with this one, it's suggesting you have to talk because it's plural. You have to talk about more than one. So you could go down the route of talking about family dysfunction and cognitive explanations as two psychological explanations of schizophrenia. So remember that it's marked holistically, but 
there's more weighting towards um, your evaluation. So you should be spending longer on your evaluation than your outline. Um, in terms of space or suggested structure, I would say about two AO1 paragraphs. Um, so your description of family dysfunction and cognitive explanation, and then your evaluation should be about four evaluation points.